back with another video and we have even more people putting even more pressure on Justin Trudeau to resign. So we have this quick video here I just want to share with you guys. It's called Trudeau Faces Calls to Resign After Toronto By-Election Loss. Let's have a look and then we'll talk about it after like usual. Our incredible, incredible, hardest working individual that we know, the Honorable Justin A party fundraiser Trudeau. with a wounded leader doing his best to pump up the troops. We have Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives who've decided that the way they get to win is to make people even angrier. But whatever the Conservatives are doing, it worked Monday in the former Liberal stronghold of Toronto St. Paul's. And four days later, Trudeau still has not taken a single question from a reporter about that Conservative triumph. Mr. Prime Minister, following the loss in Toronto, will you stay on as hey, leader? Opposition leader Pierre Polyev has not made himself available to reporters either, but he's on time off with his family this week. Trudeau, on the other hand, filled his week with several photo ops and party fundraisers and left it to his colleagues to speak about his future. I think I speak for uh, Manitoba caucus that uh, we are 100% uh, supportive of the prime minister going forward as our leader. The prime minister is committed to leading us into the next election and he has our support. The Prime Minister uh, is the person that is the best place to take the fight to Pierre Poliev. But some no longer share that opinion. The Prime Minister has a legacy to be proud of, but it's time for new ideas, new energy, and a new leader, Catherine McKenna said. There is too much at stake in this election, especially on the economy and climate. Former B.C. Premier Christy Clark came to the same conclusion that Trudeau must go. I want the Liberal Party that I used to vote for to come back, she told the Toronto Star. As for Trudeau's caucus, the first public sign of dissent has appeared. St. John, New Brunswick MP Wayne Long, who had already said that he was not running again, is circulating a letter to other Liberal MPs saying it's time for new leadership and new direction. David Aiken, Global News. Ottawa. So that's the interesting thing there, right? I mean, last time, uh, I, I talked about this last week, right? I made a video covering the the by-election and the results, and there were, we already heard rumblings of Ashley Capolo saying that uh, MPs have, have kind of came to her anonymously and kind of said that they want Trudeau gone. Well, now you're having folks who used to work for him coming out publicly and saying he's got to go. Right, so now he's facing pressure internally, externally. What's Mary Simon going to say to him if she says anything at all? Because she really holds the cards to whether he stays or not. She can force him to leave. Um, but, you know, you can really see Justin Trudeau getting desperate. I mean, he won't even comment on it other than a few prepared remarks uh, about the by-election I'm talking about. And he, like, he just won't even talk about it. He's ignoring everyone he sees who's asking him because he, he doesn't know what to say. I mean, it was a devastating loss for them. And now the MPs who are currently, especially the backbenchers, they're coming out and they're saying, you know, we're, we're going to lose our jobs. Now, for some of these MPs, they're, they're going to get their pension and yada, yada, yada. So I don't think they care too much. But the ones who are not for pension or the ones who are not retiring and still want to keep their jobs, like none of them are safe. Well, like we already knew a lot of uh, liberal MPs were going to be out on their asses. But now it's like how many of them? You just lost a, a liberal stronghold. How many other strongholds are you going to lose? You're not flipping any conservative ridings. You're not going to win as many toss-ups as you thought. If you can't even keep all of your, your strongholds, I mean, this is going to be a, a bloodbath similar to 2011 with Michael Ignatiev, who, who I believe got 34 seats. I don't think Trudeau, it's going to be that bad, but it's, I mean, they could get, they could easily come in fourth place and get around 40 seats. And the bloc would be the official opposition. The NDP could come in third place. They're really close. And the Liberals would be in fourth, right in front of the Greens and the PPC. But that's what happens when you have a leader like this who is so narcissistic, who he thinks that he can beat Pierre Polyev when it's just very, very clear he has no chance. Right? So the Liberals shouldn't be thinking, how do we beat Pierre Polyev right now? It should be about damage control. How many of us can at least keep our jobs? Right, not many of them are going to, but some of them will, and they want to keep as many as possible, and they're desperate right now. They're scared. 
And that's why they're coming out and they're, they're calling for Justin Trudeau to resign. Now, I didn't think that, as of a couple months ago that Toronto would, you know, flip or at least partially flip conservative. But now that that's happened, this whole Trudeau to resign talk, is it's gaining a lot of momentum. You know, he's facing pressure from Canadians who don't like him. That's been going on for a while. Now, former MPs, internal MPs, the media is turning on him. At what point does he just say, okay, let's call an election. Now, they can't do that right now anyway because they're adjourned for the summer. But when they come back in September, there could be so much more pressure on him to resign that maybe he caves to it. Maybe he's forced to by Mary Simon. I don't know. You know, I've also heard a rumor today, actually, I was just kind of scrolling through X saying that uh, Justin Trudeau might actually replace Christian Freeland with Mark Carney in kind of hopes t- just to kind of get someone else new. Because people are really tired of Christian Freeland too. She's also extremely unpopular. So maybe Trudeau's thinking, well, if I get Mark Carney in, who's more of a popular liberal, maybe I can get some momentum back. But <laughs> I don't see it happening. You know, I just, and again, maybe that is the, the best way they can, you know, have their damage control, but I, I don't know. I, I just don't see how the liberals can really do anything positive with Justin Trudeau as their leader. He's so hated here. The most, most people who like him are old people and rich people. How many people do you know? I know a lot of people who say they're tired of old and rich people being in politics or deciding who gets to be the prime minister or president, depending where you live. Well, those are the people who like Justin Trudeau, and a lot of people are turning away from him, not just because old people and rich people like him, but just because of how bad it is for everybody else. If you're, you know, 70 years old and your your house is paid off and your kids have been doing well, you're not too worried about what average Canadians are worried about. The average Canadian is worried about, okay, what's rent going to be in 10 years or 15 years? If it doubles again, we're screwed. Now, I personally don't know if Pierre Polyev, or I don't personally believe necessarily that Pierre Polyev is going to fix that. He's probably going to stop the bleeding a little bit, but how much better is it going to be after all this damage caused? I don't know. Not to mention Pierre Polyev is a career uh, politician. I have a very hard time trusting, as I'm sure you guys know by now, that I have a hard time uh, trusting these lifelong politicians. We see it from the NDP, from the Liberals, they're only in it for themselves. Is Pierre Polyev really that right-wing populist that he's pretending to be right now? Or at least pandering to be? I think we all hope so. But also, you can understand why I'm a little bit suspicious of that. So, you know, again, what can Trudeau do to stop the bleeding? I don't know. Nothing. And quite frankly, even if Trudeau leaves, that would actually be worse for the Conservatives right now. The the Conservatives probably want Justin Trudeau to stick around because the, the Liberal empire is just collapsing in real time, in front of our eyes. So that's better for Pierre Polyev. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Or if they replace Trudeau with, say, Mark Carney, you know, the Liberals might be able to at least, not again, they're not going to win, but they might at least be able to save a few seats. All right, guys, we know it's been bad under Trudeau, but we got a new leader. Just give us some time. There will be people who believe that. Now, Mark Carney's, you know, he's a, you know, I think Pierre Polyev calls him carbon tax Carney. He he doesn't want to do anything different than Trudeau, but because he's a different person technically, you know, he'll probably at least maintain in the polls and maybe, and again, I'm just kind of just thinking out loud here. We're just, yeah, maybe they can Maybe they can do some damage control with Mark Carney. Or maybe it continues to get worse. I don't see it getting better. The Liberals are going to be out of office for a very long time. At least eight years and probably even long after that. I mean, the the trust amongst Canadians, the way they feel about Liberals right now, the way that Canadians feel about Liberals right now is just... I mean, it's abysmal. the, The respect of that party. There's a lot of people who want the Liberal Party to be abolished. I don't blame them. What a disaster of a nine years. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Justin Trudeau will finally cave to the pressure and actually resign? Do you think he's going to stay on and kind of replace some other ministers uh, with people, with other people that he likes to give the Canadians, you know, a look at a fresh new face? 
Uh, I always like hearing what you guys have to say. I really appreciate when you do comment. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And thanks again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another